Hi, how are you guys? Today I'm going to talk about what is a LED and its applications. Light emitting diode (LED) is a relatively old technology. Exercise, action lights, text lights, traffic lights are all applications of LED. LEDs offer benefits such as small size, long lamp life, low heat output, energy savings. LED illumination is achieved when the semiconductor crystal is excited, so that it directly produces visible light in the desired wavelength range, which means color. When the LED unit is activated, a power supply converts AC voltage into sufficient DC voltage, which is applied across the diode semiconductor crystal. This results the electrons cross the p-n junction from the n-type material and recombine with holes in the p-type material, and converting their excess energy into light. LEDs are available that can produce colors including white, deep blue, blue, green, yellow, and so on. Furthermore, let's talk about the coolest application of LEDs. Shall we? LEDs have been used in smartwatch for measuring heartbeat. It is based on a technology called photoplethysmography, which is a really long vocabulary. I will call it PPG instead in the following video. PPG is the technical term for shining light into the skin and measuring the amount of light that is scattered by blood flow. As you can see, the finger in the top of the picture can be replaced by our wrist, so we can utilize the PPG technology to measure blood flow. Using the idea that the heart makes the vessel comes red due to the hemoglobin, the device detects the amount of blood flowing through your wrist at any given moment. Because blood is red, it reflects red light and absorbs green light. That's why we are using green light. So when your heart beats, there's more blood flow in your wrist and more green light absorption. Between heart beats, there will be less. I'm going to describe the details with my drawings. I hope you guys can understand instantly. First, we discuss the situation when the vessel expanded. At this moment, we all get lots of hemoglobins, which are red, and can only reflect red lights. Beware of the direction of the arrows. So, more red dots, less green lights reflection. Look, we only got one green lights reflection. Next, we discuss the opposite situation. We got little red dots, as you can see. It is easily for vessel to reflect green lights because arrows have less chances to point on red dots. What red dots do is to absorb green lights. This is the concept of the way how smartwatches measure your heartbeats. Thanks for your watching. Have a nice one.